back home. Another Olympia done. Another goal, another day has passed. Do a little recap of the Olympia. Did it go well? It went very well. Very well. The thing is, even though I think I placed like 17th place, because 16? after 16, it's all 16. I was right beside Jane, and he's the first 16, I think, with 159 points. So I think I'm 17th place, because so I was right there with him. So even though my placing in two years ago was 14, but it was 14 out of 16. Now I'm like 17 out of 30. So I was in the third call out out of five call out. So that's pretty good, middle of the pack, pretty much. I'm very happy with it. You know why I'm happy? Because the thing is, when you've done your best, and that's all you could have done, the results are not really up to you. And the goal with bodybuilding is to be better than the last showing, which I think I was. You definitely look better. Yeah, I was eight pounds heavier than Chicago Pro, and conditioning was as good or, you know, it was awesome. Better. I think it was very similar conditioning, but with added size and fullness. So pretty happy with it. So let's do a recap. So in the video, in the clips you've seen, Brian is a mix of Friday and Saturday. There's a lot of posing, a lot of like, you know, waiting around pretty much for the show to happen. But I'm just going to talk about my experience. I think the best part of the weekend, as far as competing goes, was um, posing at the finals with the comparisons because I, I think I did a better job then. I might have looked a little bit better than pre-judging on Friday. Yeah, it was just fun to pose on stage uh, with uh, James Olingshed because uh, we're friends from the Evans of the Pani Circles. The circles are like a group chat on Telegram. I'll put it in the bio. There's like Lee Priest, Jake Cutler, Evans of the Pani, Chris Tuttle, Guy Sestrino, Jose Raymond. And Juju Wufu, of course. Yeah, so I was on stage with James and we had lots of fun because we were side by side. We had a little camaraderie going on and people can... Uh, I think people noticed and enjoyed that too. So there was that. Well, yeah, you guys stayed on the stage posing after and yeah. then we're making memes of you running off the stage. Running off the stage because <laughs> we were told to, to like leave. Well, I'm going to milk it, you know, like uh, it's the biggest stage of the in the world. I'm going to be on stage as long as I can. Well, after you did that, me and your brother just looked at each other and we went, yep, that's Antoine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is the medal that I got. Joe Weider's Olympia participant. It's like the participation medal <laughs> usually the you know when you're young they you get that it, does, it doesn't mean a lot but for the olympia it does mean a lot i think so there's that that's cool and also after pre judging we had a nice hug yeah that was a good good uh nice hug i think it's like the emotions were so high the whole last few weeks and then the trip and we made it to vegas okay like that's what i was worried about was just getting to vegas and then while we were there it was just keeping it calm and cool for you and internally i freak out a little bit but i keep it pretty chill around you and then <laughs> after pre-judging after you were on the stage and you looked so amazing and i just i was like kind of like sitting there after you got off the stage i'm sitting there in the stands with your mom your brother and our friends and i was like dead like i couldn't say anything i just wanted to see you and then i saw you and i gave you this big hug and i just started like sobbing <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice hug but though lots of emotion big, so nice that was one of the hug. things i liked the most about the weekend it's like uh, back in vancouver we had like nice little moment together after so the best part about these things is i think sharing it with the uh, people you love I guess yeah so that's one of my favorite part too to share it with the people I love and it is like a, a culmination of like all the hard work that I've put in all the hard work I don't know if the clip is in there of me talking about that but all the hard hard work that Doran put in all the hard work that Carl put in for the posing all the hard work that you've put in supporting me and Big Mike training me all my friends is putting work and you know, support, just so I can do my best and do this on stage. It is like a solo sport. As far as like the performance goes, it's just me, right? I have to put in the effort, especially when there's no cameras around and nobody's watching, you're sleeping or whatever, I'm by myself. These moments is where it's the most important. Besides that, there's a, I have such a huge team with Dr. Dwayne too, that's like supporting me and helping me be my best. So it's like when I'm done and I'm performing on stage, it's like it's a culmination of everybody's time and effort that I showcase, you know, showing through the posing and, you know, in my performance and all that stuff. So it is very special. Once it's all said and done, it's like there's a big like, wow, it's a something happening. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. it's just like it's the, the peak. 
It's like it's a slow ramp up, like 17 weeks of dieting, and then it will peak, and then bang, and then after the, the peak is done, it's like there's like a big release. So mm. that's why it's it's emotional for, for some of us, at least, you know, for me and for you, and uh, for everybody who cared, I guess. Yeah, so that was a good part, too. Other than that, a, lo a lot of the, you know, once I land, it's like, as soon as the, the, we land, I like to set up my place, just make sure everything is perfect and, and just like follow the instructions. And we got Phil Viz who was there also helping us out just uh, to have a second set of eyes to just help Dorian peak. And it's always good to have like more people with experience, just removes a little bit of stress. And, and Dorian uh, had multiple athletes too. Yeah. So if he had to go be with Val or Justin or whoever, then he, uh, we had Phil in person with yeah. you all the time. Yeah, it's like there was literally like, like two brains pretty much 24 7 working on me and just making sure that i peak properly and we did it we peak properly you know we were every meal we'd pose look assess and then they would like make a decision then we would go from there it was literally like you know how some in the off season you check in with your coach once a week i was checking in with two coaches every like 30 40 minutes pretty much you know like every two hours at least we would do like a few rounds of posing and to create the demand for the carbs and then assess the salt, the water, the food and all that stuff. It was, a, it's very interesting the last few days like that. Once you land, it's like the hard part is done. The only thing that's hard is like just posing when you're kind of tired in between your meals, but you don't have a choice because like there's two people waiting for you there just like to assess. So you just do it, you accept and you do it. So really proud of what everybody achieved and I'm really proud of you. Yeah, proud of you for helping me. And I'm also proud of myself. I mean, I know it's like pretty much like did my best. I'm trying to see where I could have done better. The things I could have maybe done better would have not even impacted like the, the result really. Just trying to see like what if I could cut cream out more. It's, it's just, <laughs> of my coffee because this prep i tried to like oh let's see how far i can keep the cream and then i just got shredded on drinking cream in my coffee <laughs> so the thing when you do is when you have like a lot of muscle and you're an open bodybuilder and you're as active as i am i think like you can play around with like adding 100 calories or less in your day it will not make a difference it's more like over if there's bigger mistakes that you do every day or if you just lack with the training or you just cheat on your diet literally that's not good sneaking chocolate yeah some bodybuilders will do that still i can't believe it they will just like <laughs> add food no you can't add food to your plan and not tell your coach that's not how it works but yeah another highlight actually of the weekend was meeting up with everybody from the circles i went with lee priest at mcdonald's that was kind of fun <laughs> and i met with chris Tuttle that i did see in a long time and you know and i became more friends with derek lonsford backstage and it was lots of fun oh yeah another highlight was also after the show i trained arms with quaker so that was cool he's a uh, number three in the world right now so it was very motivating yeah. to be uh with somebody that's like the highest of the the highest level the thing is i like to be around people who are better than me because you are like a combination of the people you hang out with right so it's like if you just hang out with like people who are less good than you you won't progress as fast you only progress when you're around people who are like have things that are that they do that they're better than you at so if i do bodybuilding if i have a chance to hang out with a bodybuilder that's better than me i'm gonna do it so i don't like collabs really because if i don't want to hang out with a person for real i'm not gonna want to do a video with them you also don't like training with other people. I don't really. But much. after a show, it's like more laid back, so it's it's okay. The Walker trains hard. We had a good workout. It was just crazy to f <laughs> see the size of his arms in person. So <laughs> it, it's funny too. That's what I like, I like about him too is that he's funny. The collabs with Juji is are so good because we're really friends. <laughs> that's all. That's that's the best. The, the best videos are are genuine videos where you're really yourself. Yeah. So anyway, it was a good highlight for me to train with him. Also, when the show was over. I was kind of like backstage, it was like a moment where I was like, it was kind of like, I feel like an emptiness, like a void almost, like shit. Because all these weeks you focus on the finish line and then you cross it, you're like, oh, now what? it's over? <laughs> Wait, is it over? Like, and, then, and the thing the last like 10 days, whatever, two weeks, has a little bit hard. I was looking also forward for it to being over, but most of all for the show to happen, of course, but I was looking forward for it to be over. But now that it's over, it's like, yeah, I had like a little moment where I was like, oh, like the, I was kind of like numb a little bit. And, that kind of neutral and i was like okay i'll just pack my stuff and leave i guess like i wasn't excited for it to be over yet it's more when i saw my friends and it was like oh cool now i can actually enjoy life a little bit more not that i'm not enjoying life on a bodybuild but just like more freedom and you know go out a little bit more and 
Eat some fun things. Eat some food or off plan a little bit. Simple things like that. Sometimes you, uh, you take things for granted. So people would never diet. First thing I ate was a pizza after the show. And that pizza was like the best pizza in the world at that moment. It was good pizza. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Very good pizza too. So imagine the combination. Like I didn't eat pizza in months. And pizza is the thing I wanted to eat. And then I go to a place where they had like the best pizza. That's like good. Not many people want to understand like how good it is to just eat something you've deprived yourself for months and months and months and months for a goal that you achieved it's almost like you deserve it it's like you don't feel an ounce of guilt for eating pizza at that moment because you've worked so hard to achieve the goal that you uh, wanted to achieve and it's like a little the ultimate treat it's like part of the trophy it's like victory pizza it's good now that it's over how do you feel yeah, that? that's what i said to you today we got home and i feel like a little out of sorts because i'm just so used to like the schedule and what's going on and now it's like christmas time and christmas. i have to like get into christmas i was so like on olympia mode mentally and then now <laughs> and then now i have to get into like christmas mode and we are hanging out more and yeah just, just chilling well, we hang out all the time anyway, but mentally, you're more there. Yeah. So. Yeah, we got homemade ramen. And I don't have to do the dishes for the next no. couple months. No, that's what she thinks. <laughs> no, we got the this ramen kit that I got in the mail. We got like some cookies and all the type of stuff, but maybe we'll keep that for another video. It'll be good. We have lots of plans coming up for things to do together and I just have to get out of Olympia mode and into normal life again. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. Yeah, it's good stuff. Best. Good job. Ow. Nice. We succeeded high five. Put your glasses back on. Okay. Come over here in the back. We did it. And by we, it also includes you behind the screen because without all the fans of bodybuilding including myself i am a fan of bodybuilding are you a fan of bodybuilding now yeah without all the fans of bodybuilding nobody would compete because nobody would watch and the thing is the ultimate fans of bodybuilding are the bodybuilders themselves so without other bodybuilders to compete it would just be some guy training and then going on a stage by himself like a maniac <laughs> he would go to the asylum and the, the, he would need to go to uh what do you call that Mental hospital. Because he would be posing all the, in front of like nothing. It wouldn't be good. So we need each other. We need the competitors. We need the fans and the followers. We need each other. So on that note, the reason why I'm saying all this is that thanks to you guys. You gave me the opportunity to do what I do, but not only do what I do, but also share what I do. All of you. So you can get inspired, be entertained, get some knowledge. Doesn't matter. I hope you get, you're getting something out of it because I am. So we're all intertwined. We're all in this together. Bodybuilding or not, this is the world we're in right now. And in this world, there are many ways to get around. There are many ways to feel good. But one of the main ones that I like to talk about is the pump. Remember that the pump is the cure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do all this shit. You know the drill. But most of all, get your ass to the gym. The pump awaits.